the rehearsals alone are something to savor for Jozef Chaksh. Later today, Juan Vasla, celebrated bass baritone from the National Opera House in Ljubljana, will be performing in his home village, Shmaria Prijelzak. And what better venue than the idyllic church of St. Roch, overlooking the village in eastern Slovenia. Jozef Chaksh is in charge of his village's cultural program. The art center has recently been completely revamped to impressive effect and not just because of its expansive library. We could never have done it just with local funding. The village council wouldn't have agreed to have our money being spent exclusively on the cultural center. That's why the subsidies are so vital. In addition to the library, the village now also has a concert hall, a modern theater, and a cinema, because the mayor applied for all manner of EU funding. We've already made a lot of public buildings energy efficient, and now it's the library's turn. It'll cost a little over 100,000 euros, most of which will be covered by the EU. Shmar Yepriyelshak has been busy making the most of the new opportunities and funds available ever since Slovenia joined the EU. The mayor shows us around the brand new kindergarten, which features spacious playgrounds and cutting edge energy saving technology. Brussels covered more than two thirds of the construction costs, although securing that financial support did require overcoming a few obstacles. It was really difficult, and mainly because of the Slovenian government, not the EU. There's a bit too much bureaucracy, but we managed it with determination and persistence. And the village is still battling for further assistance. It's joined forces with five other villages to launch a new water supply system. Part of the funding they need was promised by the Slovenian government. But with the country still not fully recovered from the economic crisis, the money has not been made available. Yes, the villages had to put up the final installment from our own budget. And now we have an audit to deal with. But we hope the issue will be resolved soon. Weddings are always a sign of optimism. And in Shmari Prijelšak, people also believe their marriage with Europe is a happy one. Slovenia as a whole still appears eager to play the model student role, well-behaved and eager to impress. Most people in the country are pleased to be in the EU. Not that they've forgotten when times were tough here in Shmaria Prijelšak. Just five years ago, the village was languishing under high unemployment and limited opportunities. Since then, however, a range of new businesses have set up shop here. It can't be perfect, but a lot of things are better. There's a lot of renovation work. The new mayor is more active. Yes, it's good, but eventually we're going to have to pay it all back. Vinko Boot has been telling farmers in his cooperative not to become dependent on cheap loans from Brussels and to have more confidence in their own potential. Farmers here largely produce milk, meat and wine. Tona Vatic is among those who have made substantial investments based not just on EU funding, but above all on sound judgment, so far successfully. Modernization is okay. We can't farm like we did 30 or 50 years ago. But neither do we have to immediately match the levels of Germany, for example. Moderation is the best strategy. Mm -hmm. That seems to be paying off for the residents of Shmari Prijelšak, big supporters of the EU, and not solely for pragmatic reasons. And there are further plans afoot for new cycle paths, an eco-friendly swimming pool, and a golf course. And at sunset, the church fills up with villagers arriving for the concert. In Shmaria Prijelšak, a village with a bright future.